One other thing I often see popping up in, uh, for example, when I ask if people have questions for you for this podcast, they often want to know about DSA, data structures and algorithms. And I know that you made a post about this. For me, these are just words. Um, I, I, I mean, I know what data structures and algorithms are, but I don't know why there is this big focus on this particular topic. Do you think it's impor important to focus on learning them? The, the thing why there is a, such a big focus is because universities stress a lot about them. Okay, I get you, it. You have a whole subject about data structures and algorithms. So a whole semester, you're only dealing with lists, hash maps, the trees, uh, graphs, and sorting algorithms and whatever is out there. Uh, um, so if, let me, let me say it that way, if you want to become a programmer and you want to develop applications, you're most likely not going to need it, at least not in as much as university teaches it. So you will never really need to write a sorting algorithm from scratch. Every, every programming language out there has an implemented version of that that works the best. You, in terms of data structures, you need lists, hash maps, maybe queues, maybe stacks, but that's pretty much it. I've never needed to work with any trees or graphs in my everyday life. So, I think it's a good way to actually improve your programming logic because it's just pure logical thinking. And that's also why it's so popular in interviews. So if you have a coding interview, you probably need to learn that. But in the actual practical world, you don't really need it that much. And I have talked to some much more experienced developers than I, than I am, and they also say that. Yeah, for me, uh, I also learned this stuff only when I need it, basically when I encounter it in code. So I probably have large knowledge gaps when it comes to that because a lot of the stuff I haven't needed yet. But you can still build apps. Right. And, but I haven't done a job interview ever. So maybe I would fail there because I don't know how to work with them. Um, actually, Upwork contacted me that they um, invited me for such a special interview Oh, so I get a badge on my profile and that is a data structure algorithm interview. <laughs> I really don't want to do it, but I, I will try it, but I won't really practice for that. And will this see. be like, like a Zoom interview or how does this work? Uh, it's, it's uses a website called Code Signal. It's Maybe basically it's online automated. coding. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I need to make a coding challenge, but I need to record my screen and my webcam so they see that I don't cheat. Okay. And then they get that and manually review that. And this is basically invitation only. So I think having this batch is good, especially because if I pass that, I can do an Android test. And I would rather have that Android batch instead yeah. of the data structure batch. But I need to pass both, I think. But I will try it. And if, it, if I fail, then I don't really care. Yeah, I can imagine that having such a batch on your profile helps with clients there. Um, yeah, I'm interested to, I'm interested to uh, see how uh, Upwork goes for you in the future. I will um, observe this a little bit. Maybe I'll try it out as well. 